All right, so for my 100 subscriber special, I'm finally gonna put together my new plasma cutting system. And for those of you who might have seen these before, this is the Langmeyer XL with water table, non-torch height control one. And um, first impressions, really impressed, honestly. There's really good powder coating on everything here. My favorite part so far has been just how organized all these bags are. So it's telling you, you know, frame washers and nuts, slight holders hardware. Y-axis bearings, X-axis access bearings, long frame bolts, our inserts, medium frame bolts, but it's a really nice setup. And uh, the only reason I'm doing this is Langmeyer has some uh, some good videos on there, but they never have one going from the beginning of a build when you're including the XL package and the uh, stainless steel water table. So I'm just going to record myself putting everything together. And hopefully it'll be beneficial for some of you who might be interested in one of these. But either way, this is the 100 subscriber special video. And we'll talk more about that as we start building. So as I'm putting this together, I've been thinking of what's the best thing I can do for a 100 subscriber special. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to talk about a little contest or a giveaway, I guess you could say, that I want to do for my first 100 subscribers. So stay tuned, watch the rest of this video as I put this together, and then the details on what you need to do to get signed up are at the end of the video. All right, so if you buy the non-XL package, you're going to get two shorter pieces. One will be powder coated, one will be, looks like it's galvanized or nickel dipped, but these ones are not the ones you want to put on if you got that XL part, and you will also have a spare uh, bearing in here but just hold on to those for now and what you're going to want to do is take the two that you got with your XL kit and put them on like this so the Langmeyer will still face out on top of the two Crossfire logo sticking out and then this last one will sit on top with the large holes on top and then we have large holes facing in just like we do on this side so this is the orientation we'll look at so the bottom hole's pointing down. These are angled over there. And that's how we're gonna get this thing bolted together.
All right, so we got the upper and lower rail installed, along with this bearing. You saw it was a little tough to push in, but just know you have to push a little harder than you think. After this, the next thing to install is the water table. Be careful, this comes with a ton of packing peanuts in it. And, uh, yeah, comes with some hardware as well, so go get a bag that has the plug stopper in it, so a uh, rubber washer, brass fitting with internal and external threads to lock in place, and then self tappers with some rubber on the back side to make sure that you don't have any leaks when you attach it to the frame. So let's get it going with that. So got the water table installed along with the slats to go with it. Um, looks like we're going pretty good so far. Everything's moving pretty good like it should be. Uh, gantry's in place. I think the next step is going to be the lead screws for the X and Y axis. So we will get to putting those bearings in and getting those installed next. Alright, so I got the Y-axis lead screw and bearings in, but unfortunately, um, when I was putting this kit together, I am missing the X-axis uh, coupler here. That gave me the one that I need for the motor side, but for the bearing side I'm missing, so contacted them. Hopefully they'll get back to me soon, but it looks like this is where we're going to have to stop for now with this build. Alright, so that missing piece finally came in. Um, Langmeyer was super good about it. All I had to do was tell them it was missing. They immediately shipped me out another one, got it a few days later. And we're in the garage today finishing up because it's a little chilly outside. So just getting the heater going, taking some of the chill out of the air. And let's go ahead and get this table finished up. Alright, so I've spent like the last hour trying to get this to be level and after looking at a bunch of stuff I finally figured out that the problem is is that this piece is bowed slightly this way. So I need to bend it down so it sits flat and then I can actually level this thing. But we take this across a young good surface. You can see that it is 
come in close for this. Just so you can really see, because this has probably been the most frustrating thing about this, is trying to get it level. So if I just go from one side to the other, look how far off that is when it sits flush. I mean, we are probably a good... I mean, it is flexed way too much. I mean, look at that. So quality for the water table, I would say if you're installing the water table, be very careful and double check these and then do what you need to do to flex them in the right direction. I'm just going to put it over my knee, bend it slightly, bring it back to the edge here, find where those high spots and low spots are, and do that until I get it level. So hopefully that will fix this issue that uh, rabbit hold me for probably the last half an hour. All right, so this is the other one. So you can see they were both very bad where if I push down on this end, see how much that end moves. But after playing with the one side for a little while, I can now get it where it's just a barely any wiggle at all. And I think the weight of the slats will be good enough if I can get it the other one that close as well. So again, this is how bad each of them were before I flattened them out. So this will be the only thing I am cautious of when you're putting this together. Just verifying this is not super cattywampus like this because I probably redid the alignment four or five times, could not get it right. And then after looking down the barrel, I could see that the slats, some stood up higher than the others. And that was really what was causing the issue. And this ultimately ended up being the problem. So once I get this one flamed back out, we'll put it back together, finish the alignment, and then have this thing set up and ready to roll, hopefully. All right, so we got everything out here buttoned up. We got the box hooked up, motors hooked up. Only thing I have left to do is really just get my computer out here, finish up getting the software and everything ready to go. And we should be good to cut out with this. So like I said, we were going to do something special for my uh, 100 subscriber video. And what I want to do is uh, cut something for one of my first 100 subscribers out on this table. So if you want to, uh, I guess, enter to get your name drawn, just like the video. Leave a comment of one of your uh, favorite projects I've done so far. And tell me something you'd like to see in the future. And I will randomly pick someone sometime in November. And then I will uh, get in contact with that person, figure out what we can cut out for them on here, and get something cut and sent out to them. So I'll give you a more accurate date once I figure out uh, when I want to do that. But like always, like the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And we'll see you in the next one.